guys and welcome to my channel i hope you're doing great in my last video i showed you how i was working with a local project connected to my github repository so in this video i'm going to show you how you can link an existing github repository to your local project using visual studio code so i just want to tell you i'm not creating anything but i'm simply reading the instructions which are found on the github documentation and i'm putting it into practice so i'm going to put this link in the description box below so that you can use that as well let's head straight away to our github account and start the process so the first thing we are going to create a repository right here you come here you click on this new repository you give it a name i'm just going to call it demo then later on you can give the description but it's optional so i'm just going to call it demo yes she codes and i'm going to make it public please don't check any of these boxes for now you're going to create it in your local repository and you're going to push it in your local computer and you're going to push it so you click on create repository so that was it for the first step for the second step you need to create a folder in your computer that is where you're going to uh, put your project. And for that, I'm going to go to my desktop and I'm going to create one right here, new folder, and I'm just going to call it demo as well. Now I need to initialize this to make it a Git repository. So I'm going to um, Git batch here. Let's just Git batch here. Now to make this a Git repository, I'm supposed to use the command git init minus b and the name of my branch. You can call it master or anything or main. It depends on you, but usually master or main is being used. So this has been initialized. Once it has been initialized, I'm going to open it using Visual Studio Code. And given that I'm here, I'm just going to use the command git plus. Okay, it opens up here. Everything cool. And we can start with our changes. Right here, I can create a file, readme.md. And here, what can I really put? I'm just going to write a sentence. Okay, then a little hat for you. And uh, that is it. I save it and we are good to go. So that is the first thing we have done. This is still in local. Now I'm going to stitch this with the command git it's in capital letters with the command git at dot to add all the changes I've been able to do right now. Everything is fine. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to commit my changes. So if I do um, git commit minus m, then I give a comment. My comment will be create with me because that's what we did, create with me file. Okay, that is the commit and it has been committed. So we have committed this to our local repository, but it is not yet connected to the remote repository and to connect it to the remote repository, that's what we are going to see next. So let's head back to our repository. And we are going to copy this uh, URL right here because we need it to link it. I've copied it. I go back to my terminal and I'm going to use the command git remote add. Then I'm going to use origin. Then I have to put the link right here. So this is the link. And what does this mean? It means this URL is um, related to the name origin. So origin is just like the alias name for this URL. Enter. So that has been done quite all right. Now we can go ahead and push our code to the remote repository. So I'm going to do a git push. And I hope it works if I've not missed any step. Yes. Ah, okay. I didn't uh, use the uh, branch name. So I have to use the branch name. And to do that, I have to do a git push origin 
master. This is what I was actually supposed to do. And that was it. Everything went on well. And we can go ahead and check our uh, repository to see if it has changed. And here is it, Mel rocking GitHub with lovely coders. That was it for this video. Thank you very much for watching.